definitely am getting weaker. Uh, my right arm is, you know, for all intents and purposes, useless. Bobby Forster noticed the first symptoms of ALS just as the ice bucket challenge was exploding last summer. Testing revealed he has a genetic mutation associated with the disease. I still have a lot of hope. Because of places like ALS TDI, a Cambridge nonprofit focused on one thing finding treatments and a cure for ALS. Bobby is enrolled in its precision medicine program, a trial that expanded dramatically because of $4 million in ice bucket donations. One year of ice bucket challenge for us got two drugs moving towards the clinic and rolled out a program from 25 to 300 people, which is really making a big impact in the community. Using skin cells taken from his arm, researchers are reprogramming them to test treatments specifically for Bobby. What's wrong with this particular patient based on the cells that you collected from them? Can we find a drug that fixes their problem as quickly as we can and then get that drug back to the patient? Bobby also monitors his movement through trackers on his arms and legs. The data uploaded to a website he can access at any time. At just 26 years old and with a new wife, Casey, by his side, he refuses to let ALS win. I want help, I want to care. And everybody doing that makes a big difference. Bobby and Casey are on their honeymoon in Italy right now. They told me they're hoping to introduce the ice bucket challenge to everyone they meet along the way. Emily Reamer, WCBB, News Center 5.